So again, I know you can get to PubMed through Google. I really recommend though that you go through the library because it will usually send you through a library authentication process and then it will be like, oh, hey, you have access to all of these articles because of the library subscriptions to journals and databases. So when you're in the PubMed interface, instead of typing into kind of their Google search bar here, we're going to scroll down to clinical queries. So why would we use clinical queries versus the regular search interface for PubMed? So clinical queries is a specific search portal that they have put together where it helps you find that high level research. So it helps you find those systematic reviews, the clinical trials and the meta analysis and the clinical guidelines. So when you're in here, what it's doing is you're searching for your topic in this main search bar, and then it's doing some additional searching on the back end for you to pull out those kinds of articles. So when I'm in clinical queries, I can put my main search term in here. So let's say I'm interested in multiple sclerosis. And then if I press search, it's going to bring back there's the COVID-19 articles over here on the left, but then what we're interested in is the clinical study categories over here on the right. And so we can see that there are 24,000 results, which is a lot. And so then I'm gonna keep adding additional search terms. So let's say I'm interested in multiple sclerosis and ballet. So if I then press search, it is going to drastically change the number of results that I get. And so two just really isn't enough. So at this point, what I can do is I can add additional keywords to expand my pool of results. So we used and to narrow, and so we'll use or to expand that. So I'll say I'm interested in ballet or dance. And so if I do that, press search, what it's going to do now is it's going to bring back a couple of more results. This probably still isn't enough, but it is something to, it's a pool to look at. And so we went from those two results to six results because there were four other articles out there that referenced dance and multiple sclerosis. So the articles have to have either one of these two terms and they have to have multiple sclerosis and at least one of these terms. So the parts that we're interested in as well is these different categories. So there is various categories that you can look at and it will change what you get back. So right now we're getting six, six results for therapy. If we click on this clinical prediction guides, it's going to actually give us seven results. So there's something else that was brought in that met kind of that background search algorithm. And so if we click on diagnosis, there isn't anything for here. And so sometimes there's not going to necessarily be something that corresponds with your search topic, depending on what your topic is. So if we click back to that therapy and we have it set at broad right now, and you can see the kind of articles it's bringing back. So it's looking at randomized controlled trial. It's also looking at a systematic review. Um, this one we can't necessarily tell right away, this third one. Um, and then it looks like this is also a systematic review down here as well. So that broad category is going to bring in multiple different types of um, publication types. So it's going to bring in the systematic reviews, it's going to bring in the clinical guidelines, and it's going to bring in the randomized controlled trials. Now, if we click from broad to narrow, it is going to limit the kinds of publication types that we're getting. So in here, you're mostly going to just be getting the randomized controlled trial, and that's because of how PubMed is has the specific search algorithm set in the back for therapy narrow. The other part of this is that sometimes it's not just a publication type, but it is also more, they're narrowing your pool, but typically what you're gonna get is more relevant to your topic. Um, so that's just something to also consider. So if you have more questions or are interested in exactly what they're searching in the background, what you can do is down here at the bottom, it says see more filter information. So if you click that, it will take you to um, exactly what they're searching. So they're searching for your two concepts. So for us, it was multiple sclerosis and ballet. And it's also searching this information when we have it set to broad for therapy. 
And then this is what they're searching, this the publication type abstract, um, and then these words in the title and abstract when you're looking at therapy narrow. So this is just kind of giving you an idea of what's being searched in the background for you. So if we go back to the search results, if you are interested in looking at th these three studies, you can click on the title directly. It will take you to the PubMed record for it. If you want to look at all of the results that you got, you can click on see all three. For this particular example, there were three. And so then it will take you to the list of those articles, and then you can either save them to a collection in PubMed, you can export them, you can look at them, print them, uh, do whatever you like. And so from here, the way I have my PubMed set up is that it highlights the words from my searches. So that is how you can use clinical queries in PubMed to get to those systematic reviews and randomized control trials.